Welcome to the Watermark Training Centre. My name is David Lawler and I'd like to spend a few moments taking you through the daily maintenance routine for a Gadget coffee machine. The principal reason for cleaning your coffee machine on daily maintenance is to ensure that coffee flavours are optimised. A clean machine will give you better coffee. Secondly, cleaning your machine on a daily basis will ensure that it is easier to use, it will be cheaper to maintain and thirdly it will be much more presentable to your customers. The main aspects of daily cleaning include wiping off the steam once after use, running the cleaning routine over the shower discs of the coffee machine to remove residual oils, and thirdly, to clean the drip tray and waste water outlet to ensure that blockages do not occur. After steaming milk, it is imperative that the steam wand be cleaned off with a damp cloth like so. Purge the steam wand. This removes any residual milk that is built up in the nozzle. It is very important to make sure that the steam wand is kept clean at all times. Dried milk on the steam wand is unhygienic, reduces the efficiency of the steam wand in steaming milk, and is very unsightly for customers. The next part of the daily cleaning routine is cleaning the group heads. At the end of each day, we recommend you clean the group heads of the coffee machine. Simply take your group handle, remove your filter basket like so. Insert your blind filter, which has no holes in it. If you're using a cleaning tablet or a cleaning powder, such as this, insert into the blind filter. Put the group handle into the group head and press for a coffee. This dissolves the tablet, allowing the liquid to clean the shower disc and group head. Press for a coffee two or three times to make sure that it completely dissolves. You'll see that the tablet has now fully dissolved and is foamed up. Remove this liquid and rinse. It is very important to make sure that the group head and shower disc are clean, as any residual chemical could taint the flavour of coffee. Insert the group handle back into the group head and back flush. Carry out this process until the water runs clear. This is an example of a shower disc which is cleaned regularly. As you can see, the gauze is clean and unstained. The holes at the back of the shower disc allow the water to flow through unrestricted, which gives a better opportunity for an even extraction of flavour. This is an example of a shower disc which is not cleaned regularly. As you can see, there's staining on the gauze. A buildup of coffee here has blocked some of the holes. Also, some of the coffee here, or the residual coffee at least, can come loose during brewing, tainting the flavour of the espresso. The next part of group head cleaning is to ensure that the seal around the group head is cleaned. Simply take a brush and clean the seal as such. The importance of doing this is to make sure that the seal does not become excessively worn as well as to ensure that the buildup of coffee doesn't dry out the seal causing it to crack. The next stage of group head cleaning is to make sure that we clean the group handles and filter baskets once a week. Take a basin of hot water and insert one tablet into it. Take off the filter basket and place into it. Place the metal part of the group handle in, ensuring that we avoid putting the handle into the liquid. Allow these to soak for about 15 to 20 minutes, and when finished, rinse with cold water. The final part of daily maintenance is to make sure that the waste pipe is kept clean. Simply take half a jug of hot water from the coffee machine. This ensures that the water in the boiler is used and doesn't become stale. Remove the grill from the drip tray. 
pour the hot water down through the waste outlet. This will ensure that any coffee that may have built up in the waste outlet is freed. Put the grill of the grit tray 